Attorney General William Barr was back on Capitol Hill today. The topic of the Mueller report was still the same. But this time, senators were looking for new details about the Mueller report. Now, yesterday, Barr testified that there will be an investigation into the alleged spying of the Trump campaign. But today, Barr said he believes the spying did happen. I guess you could, I, I think there was a spying did occur. Yes, I think spying did occur. Well, let me... But the uh, question is whether it was predicated, adequately predicated. And I'm not suggesting it wasn't adequately predicated, but I'd need to explore that. I think it's my obligation. Well, it is our obligation to get the 360 view from our political panel, former Florida Democratic Party Chair Mitch Caesar and Steve Walsberg, conservative commentator. Thanks for joining commentator. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. My Thank pleasure. you. Mitch, I have to start with you. Is it concerning that the AG is now investigating for spying, possibly not from a foreign intelligence agency, rather a domestic, possibly the FBI? I have to say, I don't think the Attorney General, to me at least, has a lot of credibility, to be honest. He's evaded questions for the last few times on Capitol Hill, specifically when he was asked today, do you have any specific knowledge or evidence? He goes, no, I just have some questions. So let's stir the pot. Is he Attorney General for the United States of America, is Nancy Pelosi questioned, or is he the Attorney General and personal attorney for Donald Trump? Uh, that's something everybody has to be known. I think his credibility was heard quite a bit by his uh, four-page uh, memo uh, interpreting uh, the Mueller report out of hundreds and hundreds of pages. Now he says he's going to submit it, but with major redactions. I, I don't honestly think he's coming from a point, a point of credibility. I wish I was wrong. I don't think so. But that's the thing, Steve. Can we really expect the truth, considering the FBI does fall under the DOJ? And as Mitch pointed out, he was very vague in what he said would be his justification for it, even though I do have to point out um, vagueness is what's cost us close to $20 million plus in this investigation <laughs> was vagueness. But at the same time, did, does Mitch have a point there saying, you know, we could use a little bit more substance to justify this accusation? No. I mean, I, he's the attorney general, and he said, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about this because this is an ongoing investigation. It's natural for him not to talk about it. He has no, they have no business uh, saying, well, tell us what you know. He's not going to do that, and they knew he wasn't going to do that. Look, we had a, and I hate to say it, uh, a, a brain-dead attorney general in Sessions who did nothing. I am so glad that man is gone, and now we're going to get what should have been happening all along, an investigation into an attempt to, first of all, undermine a presidential election, then overthrow a duly elected president of the United States. This is not the rank and file of the FBI, but this is the hierarchy and other or former Obama officials in positions of authority, FISA court, you name it. Finally, we're going to have a, a just investigation into this. And, and, and he said he has reason to believe, yes, there was spying. He wasn't uh, beating around the bush on this, but he's not going to give details. He's not an idiot, and he shouldn't give details. And as far as, you know, him being uh, hurting his credibility, my goodness, we finally have an attorney general who has guts and is going to do the right thing. Okay, but now here my question for you, Mitch. Do you think you're going to see Steve just as passionate if it comes out, sort of like what the, the, Mueller, the Mueller investigation came out with nothing there, if he comes back and says, you know what, actually I don't see spying from the FBI, as so often has happened once people start investigating their own and realize there's things they just can't come back with, and that's hence why we have the redactions right now. Do you think you're going to still see Republicans just as big and, and jumping on the, on the train of Bob Barr? First of all, he did not say it was an ongoing investigation. His exact phrase was, I have some questions. So this is vintage Donald Trumpism. Drop a bomb, see what happens. There's no proof of that. Perhaps we'll know later down the road. But there also is a question if there was a watching of the campaign, not spying, that's nonsense. The question is, and I can tell you as a lawyer, was there probable cause? What information they base it to look at the campaign? Listen. They can complain and say this is insane, but meanwhile, through the uh, Federal Southern District of New York, there's ongoing investigations, through the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington, D.C., and through the numerous attorney, numerous uh, cases, rather, in which a lot of the Trump circle have either pled guilty or have been convicted of crimes or ones that are coming up. This isn't all a great witch hunt, as he said. We can put up a panel of, of, of perhaps almost a dozen faces of people who have either been convicted or are going to jail or started jail or their trials are coming up. So guess what? I'll believe it when I see it. This is quick 
obvious diversion. Don't look over here on the left. Listen to whatever I'm saying here on the right. We've seen this for the last couple of years. Same old story, no proof. Well, there is a different story that's coming out right now, and I'm going to start with you, Mitch. Trump, President Trump is going to be signing executive orders to eliminate the red tape, which allows for more production of natural gas and crude oil. This makes us less de dependent on foreign oil and uh, sources. So, therefore, maybe not. Therefore, maybe we should make sure that we don't get involved in these world disputes. Why is this not a good thing? In the fact that we might do the offshore drilling right outside of Florida, where you live. I live in Florida, specifically South Florida. I think it's an interesting thing because it causes a lot of problems for this administration. On an environmental issue like the uh, horizon that uh, had the disaster in 2010 and oil boils rolled up on the beach, that affects not only commercial fishing, sport fishing, tourism, right. and there's always that danger. The problem is also politically, Florida is still a swing state. Right. And a recent poll by Quinnipiac showed that 64% of the people surveyed across Florida voters uh, are against oil or gas drilling, no matter how far out from the coast. So this prevents, pre presents rather a real political problem that could put the president in jeopardy of winning Florida. Right. Even Republicans are pro-environment. But the other quick point is that this might also be a head fake that occurred right. uh, when Rick Scott was up for election. The now disgraced Ryan Zinke went around saying, Saying, uh, we're going to do it. And then uh, the president said, oh, I let Rick Scott talk me out of it. A little showmanship to help him during the campaign. Well, also, this may be a head fake. Well, Stephen, I hate to give you a I, short, I hope, short I answer. I hope it is. Well, that's the thing. Steve, I hate to give you a short answer to this. But I have to say, can Republicans say they want to do this and still look like they are conservationists and they don't want to just completely destroy the planet? Well, I, I don't think that's the case. But Trump ran on Drill Baby Drill, which was started in 2008. And, and he won Florida. He's not... He's he not gonna, yes, and he's not going to commit political suicide. So if what Mitch is saying is correct, they won't do it in Florida. But right. we're now the world's top oil producer in the world, thanks to Donald Trump. And rigs, gas and oil are up over 37% in 2017. In one year, he raised it 37%. So he's going to keep drilling. That's what his base wants. That's what Americans want. We don't want to be oil dependent and energy dependent. But we can't be dependent on both of you to come back here and continue a lively debate like <laughs> you did today. Thank you so much for joining us, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks, Scotty. Hey, YouTube. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.